Friday night at Independence, and I've got Utah Saints with me, Jazz and Tim. Welcome to Cork. Hello. It's nice to be here. It's the first time we've been back since um, 1994. We were just working that out. You look like you've just come from Ibiza. Thank you. <laughs> That's because uh, it's a beautiful day. Been, I have been. Yeah. Actually, have been? I, yeah. okay. I knew. <laughs> I nailed it, didn't I? You did. Yeah. You smashed it. Well, <laughs> ask, if in doubt, ask a DJ, have they just come from Ibiza? I've just come from Leeds, though. So it's not, it's not quite the same. It's not a sexy jazz. No, it's not. It's not. It's not. But what sort of sexy musical activities have you been up to? Because Sugar Beats has really been your focus over the last few years, hasn't it? Yeah, we do, we do um, many things. We have, we've got a couple of labels, and one of the labels is Sugar Beat, which Sugar Beat started out as a night in um, Leeds, then became a night in Edinburgh and a night in London, um, and then progressed into a label because we were getting people coming up to us at the gigs and the shows, and got just yeah, yeah, and we just thought we've got to have an avenue for putting this out. So it was just um, it's more of a labour of love, really doing the shoe beat stuff than um, actual kind of big money making thing but it's great to be able to put out other people's music so that's you, kind of you've one got of other labels as well well we, yeah we've got um got another little label as well which is doing more down tempo beats in the uh, hip-hop and funk stuff called bomb strikes um, and then bomb strikes bomb strikes and then got uh, yeah then the label sugar beat um, it's just different avenues to put out music because you know sometimes it's easier to say like Sugar Beat does that, Bomb Strikes does that, and that does that. So rather than putting all different types of genres out on one label and confusing people. So that, that's yeah, the reason. Yeah, no, it makes sense. Little, that's cool though. It obviously keeps you busy, but I would imagine what keeps you the most busy is um, all the sort of commercial remixes and, and people asking you to tamper with things like Girls Aloud and uh, make them bigger and brasher. <laughs> I'm so glad you said that that way. Yeah, it sounds <laughs> rude. I apologise. Yeah. Want to re-edit, re-edit yourself on that? Um, <laughs> but anyway, uh, yeah. Well, we've been doing. Um, we have been doing uh, produce, a bit of producing, a bit of remixing, and we've done everyone from. Uh, you know, in the last sort of five years we've done from, from Girls Aloud, and about the next one we did after Girls Aloud was um, Bring Me the Horizon, who are you know a totally different type of act, really. Yeah. And um, at the end of the day, if if, if a song's good. Uh, then you've always got something interesting to work with. So artistically, it's really nice to work with um, all sorts of different types of music. So generally, we tend to... Jumping into pop must be fun. Yeah, it is. It's. Um, I mean, we've, over the years, we've done all sorts of things from underground stuff to overground stuff. And, and um, with pop music, especially something like Girls Aloud, you know that um, you've got such a, a, a palette of... Um, music to start with but then you, you can t you've also got an audience who might not have heard as much mu club music as you've heard for example so it's always nice to sort of kind of do that I mean back in the day when we first started we used to do gigs with um, we used to do a whole gamut of gigs then as well so last time we were in Cork for example we supported um, U2 here and but, but at the same time that same year um, that we did that we were we did a couple of gigs with Take That who were like the big pop thing and, and stuff and um, it's always it's always nice to have like chart toppers. I mean, the '90s. What was it? Three yeah, top ten, four top ten. Yeah, we've had yeah, yeah we've had yeah. we've had a few top tens, but it's um, and then we had a top, a top ten in 2008. We had a, a top 30 last year, and so. But to be honest, the the, um, the chart stuff kind of waxes and wanes depending on. We we figured that um, if we just keep doing what we're doing, every now and again we're going to be in fashion, <laughs> and it's gonna it's gonna kind of hit. So so that's. Um, that's sort of the way we work. We've always been very music driven and um, what's always interested us is, is music and, and making new sounds and, and um, trying to make new new twists on um, pop music basically. So I think I think we do like being involved in pop music and we're naturally drawn to things with hook lines, um, but we like to do our own take on it. Okay, well, I really look forward to the set later then. And then um, for everybody that's watching this and is missing indie, um, where will they be able to see you next? Are you going to be doing busy sort of an autumn touring of, of DJing? Like, do you DJ all the time, or do you focus on a few months a year? We're kind of we're out most weekends. Yeah. And um, you know, like, so coming over to Ireland, we'd probably just do like a run of a few gigs. Um, so hopefully, we'll be back before Christmas. Um, you know, we, we only kind of know really what we're doing the next sort of six to eight weeks in advance. So it's it's hard to tell at the moment, but we will we will be back. Okay, excellent. Utah Saints, have a great festival. Thank you very much.